Why does my cocktail shaker get stuck? Problem solved. Did your cocktail shaker get stuck in the middle of a good mix? It gets frustrating when it causes a delay in serving time. But don't worry, it happens all the time, and you could fix it quickly with these simple tips. In this video, we will explain how to unstuck your cocktail shaker. But before we do that, let's discuss why your cocktail shaker gets stuck in the first place. There are multiple reasons behind this. For one, your cocktail must have contained a sticky ingredient that got inside the strainer or cap. This makes it difficult for the shaker to open up. A mismatch or forced assembly of the body to the strainer or cap may also be why separating them has become a challenge. The material of the cocktail shaker is also a factor in it being stuck. Shakers that are made of metals or stainless steel are easily affected by temperature. Since stainless steels are good conductors and most drinks are usually mixed with ice, frosting outside the tin occurs. The shaker gets stuck when metal contracts decrease in temperature. When this happens, immediate action is required before separating them gets tougher. Fortunately, this issue can be fixed in many ways. There are two types of cocktail shakers, but let's start with the easier one, the Boston shaker. Since the Boston shaker only has two parts, separating them is less complicated, especially if one component is glass instead of tin. It doesn't have a cap so that the parts can be detached quickly. A newbie could be intimidated with getting the job done, but just like with many other things, practice is the key. Number 1. The two parts of the Boston shaker must be separated immediately after shaking, or else they will get stuck. To do this, tap the intersection of the two containers against the heel of your hand. You can repeat this step if it does not separate on the first try. Number 2. If tapping is not adequate, try to loosen the parts by twisting them. Number 3. Press your thumbs in the opposite direction of the angle of the mixing glass. This should separate it from the shaker tin. Number 4. If the tin part is still bendable, give it a light squeeze until the glass part loosens up. Next is the cobbler shaker. Compared to the Boston shaker, the steps in separating a stuck cobbler shaker are greater in number and complexity. This is because either the strainer or the cap gets stuck, or worse, both parts may get tangled. If only the strainer is stuck, you can still empty the shaker's content. However, in this case, you cannot clean the shaker thoroughly. If the cap is stuck, the strainer can't still be removed. You still have to fix both parts in both scenarios so that you could use your shaker again. Remedy number one. Pour hot water at the lining of the cap or filter where contents are already emptied. It depends on which part is stuck. This should cause the tin to loosen up due to warming. If the cap is stuck, but the strainer is not, a nifty trick using barbecue sticks may work. Just follow these steps. Remedy number two. Stick a couple of barbecue sticks through the strainer's holes and tie them together with a rubber band. Do this while making sure that the smooth ends go through the holes. To protect the table from scratches or marks, place a cloth or towel. Lift the strainer and pound the sticks against the table until you hear a popping sound. This indicates that the cap is already separated. On the other hand, if the strainer is stuck, but the cap is not, here's how you can fix it. You can try tapping the lining between the tin and the strainer against the edge of a table. If this does not work, a temperature change should do the trick. First, soak the shaker in a bowl of ice water for 5 minutes, then immediately transfer it to a bowl of hot water to loosen it up. Alternatively, you can place your shaker in the freezer for 5 minutes, then take it out. The strainer should come off at this point due to the condensation outside the shaker. In the end, you may realize that bartending does not only mean that you are good at creating different cocktails, it also requires problem-solving skills. Fixing a stuck shaker can be a challenge on your first few tries, but if you keep practicing the tips we mentioned, you'll be a pro in no time. Did you like this video? Then, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Advanced Mixology for more tips and tricks.